Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedem and welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series. Now today, we're going to try our best to defeat WCW. Every single video now, from now on, is just us trying to wait uh, for the unavailable, uh, inevitable. So uh, we'll, we'll see where WCW leads us at, but eventually they're going to have to let go and get bought out by us by us it's just gonna have to happen they keep losing fans over and over again uh if we keep the count off now at the companies we are almost at five million and they're coming up towards the one million mark so they're dropping and dropping every single time in two or three pay-per-views it's gonna happen where they're gonna have less than one million so at some point they're gonna have to lose uh, popular. I think it works via the popularity of things. So I think if they become like minus uh, below five, 50 or something like that, that's probably when it's going to happen. I guess that's what's going to happen, right? So we'll see. We'll see where this leads us. Uh, we obviously are working on uh, getting someone else uh, go uh, towards our roster. So somebody else is going to come by. I uh, already forgot who I went for right here, but I think it was a, a male wrestler or something like that. Uh, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see where this leads us, boys. So we're just going to go back, go for the booking right here, continue our uh, our main fantastic thing. We do have some minus of effect, so we don't want to do a street fight match, but that's about it. The rest we can do it uh, as long as we want. So it seems like the first match is going to be a singles match. Uh, I'm going to do it like, uh, I'm actually going to show you what I'm doing right here, boys. I decided to do that instead. So just do a regular match. Rob Van Dam is going to face off against uh, Chris Benoit. They already have a feud going on. It's going to be a singles match again. And uh, we're going to add a gimmick match to that one. Last time it was, uh, I believe, a still kill, a still sell or something. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was a false count, right? Let's do a, a first blood match. Let's do a first blood match right here. Next up, it's for the world championship. So what do we do with that? Is it, it's going to be a singles match as well. She doesn't have any feud going neither that is. So she can p uh, pick up anybody really, face off anybody. That, so the first 100% that we see, it's a Roddy Piper. So we're just going to uh, do a feud between these two. Uh, old and champion, face of the company. Let's do old and champion. So Roddy Piper is going to challenge the title, all right? Uh, challenge for the title. If he can't be, uh, beat Lita during the blow-off, he's, he's going to basically retire. So it's either he's going to be champ or he's going to retire. We are adding a gimmick to that. So it's going to be a TLC match for that. And uh, next up, World Television Championship match. She has a feud going on against medusa but uh, so does jazz so i don't know if we're going to keep that one up actually you know what all right so we can uh go and do both of them both of these feuds up we can do both of them so we're, we're going to blow up that one so injury revenge so i guess what we can do since it's going to be for the woman's title uh, as well we could uh, literally just uh do uh just a woman basically so it's going to be a multi-woman match so I guess what I'm going to do, end up doing, I guess, is just put every single woman that I see. So uh, do Gail Kim versus Beth Phoenix right here. And uh, who else? Do we have another woman available right here? I got I got Mickey James available. So let's uh, let's get the, every single woman wrestler in there that, that I know of, that I, uh, I saw at least. So let's get every single one of them off there. One of the injury revenge is going to get blown off, but the other one is going to start off between Gail Kim and whoever uh, that was. I don't remember, but we're just going to do that. And the rest, well, it's just up to, for the, uh, to the AI. So the AI is going to decide. Singles, a long time, terrible. Let's just do Bizarro once again. Do Bizarro booking. There we go. And uh, it looks like the AI decided to put a big time match right there. Battle Royale as well. All right. I see you. So just a simple battle royale. Remove the few. There we go. Uh, I guess there's probably some of them that are going to be double duty or something. Or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Since there is already a battle royale, I don't know what to expect. So I'm not going to uh, put anybody else on right here. I don't know uh, who they put on the roster. So we'll just uh, let it go for now. 
unless I can look it up myself manually, but I'm not going to do that, boys. So we're just going to let it go as it is. I'll put it as it is. The, the, that's what the AI wanted to uh, do. That's uh, what we're going to get uh, get for today. So the main event package right there. We have some brand new feuds, I believe. Nope, not at all. So uh, we are not in a new month or anything. So what we can do is just um, do a return package, probably. Is there uh, somebody that's uh, injured right now that uh, is going to be back soon enough? No, not really. So we don't have any of that. We can do uh, one of these promos with a legend and stuff. So maybe Randy Savage coming by and uh, praising somebody, right? So we can do that. Uh, we just got to find him, though. We got to find it uh, really quick. So give me a second. So I found it, boys. It's legendary endorsement. So we need a legend and an over superstar. So we're taking Macho Man. And he's going to endorse uh, Jazz. There we go. So he's just going to endorse Jazz because I'm pushing her. So it's just going to work out very well. Uh, where's she at? She's right there. So we're going to endorse her right before the match. That's uh, really good. And the next thing we can do now is just a feud, like a, a promo battle or something. We could do a promo battle for one of the feuds. So uh, I, I'd say maybe a promo battle between Medusa and Jazz. Maybe, but I think we already did that one. Uh, or maybe not a promo battle, but uh, she already has a thing, right? So maybe a manager promo. Uh, but we already did that, right? I think we already did that for her. It's not repeatable. So let's just do a backstage, a backstage interview uh, with Jazz. We're going to do a backstage interview with Jazz Boys. And she's just basically going to get an endorsement. So uh, after the endorsement, she's going to get an interview. We're pushing her as much as possible. We're pushing her to the top, boys. That's just how it's going to work. So, Hostile City Showdown. Let's start the, the first pay-per-view off. They want at 70% Rob Van Dam to retain and 30% Chris Benoit to retain. They still want... Some fans still want Chris Benoit to have the title, boys. I mean, we can work it out, but... It's just... The fate's going to have to decide, I guess, at this point. Uh, Ricky Steamboat, so uh, they want Roddy Piper to win, uh, the, uh, to win the title, and Trish Stratus uh, to uh, to retain the title, boys. So they want Trish Stratus to retain. That uh, is fine by me. So minus five high for the first match: Scott Hall versus uh, Just Incredible. Just Incredible is the better wrestler out of these two, so we're gonna give the win to Just Incredible. And unfortunately, it's a really bad match, low intensity and everything. Um, that's that's really bad. That's not a good one. I do not like to see that. That's that's definitely a bad one. For the three star boys. That's uh, that's pretty bad. I could have done like a squash at this point. Uh, so Edge versus uh, Goldberg. The best wrestler out of these two is uh, Edge. So we're just gonna give Edge the win. A pretty good ending. It's a four and a half star match, a so pretty good for uh, someone like uh, Goldberg, who's a dull worker. That's a pretty good ending. Uh, Triple H versus Kurt Angle. We are going to give the win to Kurt Angle. He's the best wrestler, of course. So there we go. He gets the win. Another four, uh, four and a half star match, boys. Pretty good. Now, unfortunately, Triple H keeps facing up against him, so he's not going to get too many wins because of that. But uh, let's keep it going. El Generico. Versus uh, Jeff Hardy. Both of them have three stars work rate. So we'll just... Um, I don't know who to give the win to. So just randomly. We could literally do a throw in the towel. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do throw in the towel. And give the win to uh, El Generico. Upgrade the match as much as possible. So there it is boys. So that's a almost a five star. That's pretty decent. Legendary endorsement. Works out pretty fine. 90% uh, effectiveness. So it works out pretty good, boys. That's good. Good to know. Backstage interview afterwards by Jazz. 100% effectiveness. Good. And uh, next up, her actual match. She's going to win it and become the new World Television Champ. So she's going to become a two-time champ herself. So boom. Just like that, Jazz becomes a two-time champ right after a legendary endorsement as well. That's good enough for a five and a half star match. So she's now a double champ, boys, and everything. There was a blow off in there as well. Uh, really good. Jazz is getting a huge push, boys. A push of, a, of the century right now for her. 
and their gimmick is uh, going up as well. Uh, do we have anything else? Nope, not really so far. X Pac versus Kejimoto for their hundredth time. Let's just give the win to X Pac. Four star, there we go, just like that. So, four star uh, ending. We've got World Championship uh, match right there between Lita and Roddy Piper. I believe they wanted Roddy Piper to win the title, boys. So uh, they wanted Lita to basically uh, lose the title, which is uh, which is fine by me, I guess. So let's just straight up give the win to Roddy Piper right here. Lack of psychology. Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty bad. I should have probably done as well this screw job just so uh, up the little bit, right? Because lack of psychology, that's not good. Minus effect right there. But uh, Roddy Piper is the new champ uh, right there. So he starts off by being the champ. And 10-way uh, battle royale. Who's going to win? Uh, yeah, some of them are doing uh, pulling double duty. Yeah, some of these wrestlers are pulling double duty, boys. I don't know who to go for right here. I'm going to go for Jake Roberts because he's got the least amount of popularity. So we might as go, uh, might as well go for him right now. So go for Jake Roberts. He wins another big one. Five and a half star match. And that's a big, big win for him. Big W for him, boys. Uh, just like that. So a pretty decent match overall. And afterwards, we're coming out towards the main event itself. 100% effectiveness for the package. Uh, they wanted... Some of them want Chris Benoit to win. Some of them want Rob Van Dam to win. Uh, we already did the, the ring collapse thingy. So at some point, you know, we there's not a lot that we can do. So we're just going to have to let the fate decide. Is, Chris, is Rob Van Dam re retaining his title? And become uh, stay in champ for another for ten months in total, or Chris Benoit finally getting justice and getting the title for himself. We'll see. Rob Van Dam retains once again. All right. Well, fate decided, boys. So either way, the fans are gonna be happy. Full of blood in that match, as you can see. Bloody hell, as hell for Chris Benoit, and uh, that's a really good match. Fi almost a five star match. Uh, Rob Van Dam serves uh, his title and is now champ for another uh, is now going to be champ for tw uh, 10 months boys he's coming up to a year as champ if he can get there as uh, champ for a year that's going to be ca uh, crazy so a lot of good stuff just below uh, 5 star for the pay-per-view and overall nothing else to say bad to say about anything nothing bad at all boys over 500k for us of uh, attendance we got a brand new, uh, brand new company that emerged. Revolution Pro Entertainment opens its doors this month. Okay, so we got a brand new uh, company, boys. Way be a, a pretty decent company. I mean, it's already losing fans, though. So I won't say anything, but uh, still pretty decent company. All right, so we got a brand new competition, it looks like. So Seamus is now with us. Reassure failure, uh, failure for Medusa. New competitor, new talent, uh, Paul Black. All right, so a lot of effects. This is Eat Wave after all. So we, uh, this is our biggest pay-per-view of the entire year. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we got. Who's our wrestlers right here? So Lida's got three wins in a row. And Mr. Perfect, two wins in a row. My, plus 25 hype for the match itself if it's a steel cell. The only thing we don't want to do is an uns unsanctioned. All right. Well, I'll keep all of that in mind. Let's just keep. Uh, let's go. Let's go see for morale. Who is the least happy? It's still Medusa. She's the one that I keep having to to work on right now. She's not happy uh, enough, boys. Always unhappy. It's crazy. All right. So I've just reassured her. Let's up on into our main our main pay per view of the year, boys. Our big one. Let's up on in and see if we're gonna have some really good matches or not. So it looks like our first match for Rob Van Dam. Uh, he's going to defend his title. He's already got a feud going on against Chris Benoit. We're going to keep it going. And it's going to be a singles match. So just a singles match to keep the feud going. Uh, we are going to have a stipulation added to it. Last time it was a TLC. So we're going to do an Iron Man match. And uh, next up is for the world title, right? Yeah, so Roddy Piper defending his title against Lita. Is it going to be a multi-man match? It is. So we're just going to choose a bunch of different wrestlers right here. So we're going to put Trish Stratus in there. CM Punk in there. 
We're gonna put every single one, uh, as many wrestlers as possible, boys, in the mix right here. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. Medusa in here. Well, not Medusa. She's already involved in a, a, a feud, it looks like. Edge, yeah, sure. And uh, last but not least, we can have up to uh, 10 wrestlers, I believe. So uh, 81%. It needs to be someone very high up. Let's say Stone Cold. And it says to go for one of these guys. So uh, Brock Lesnar. There we go. So 10-way match, boys. Boom. Just like that. And there is a stipulation to it. So it's going to be... It's, it was a still cell or an Iron Man. It's going to be a still cell. There we go. Still cell. So it's going to be even better uh, hyped up, boys. Next up. Now she's double champ. She's putting double duty. Uh, since we've got Sheamus, he's now the guy that we're going to be pushing. So we can't worry about Jazz anymore. But she has her feud already going on. And uh, it's just going to be a singles match. We're going to do... She's going to defend... Uh, I guess just a woman title, the woman's title this time around. She's going to defend that one. And uh, nothing, uh, no stipulations whatsoever added to it. Just a random thingy right here. So uh, next up, I guess we can do just a single, we're just going to do booking again. Bizarro and add uh, matches. There we go. So just add matches, Bizarro. Uh, we're just going to, okay, so that field is going on blow that feud up we're gonna remove that feud right here and we're just gonna put these in between right here just like that put, put doing this in between and uh that one is good enough yeah everything's good so terrifon versus tajiri get rid of it really quick or actually terrifon versus tajiri was working out so we can keep that but uh Sheamus versus mickey james is going to be the one we're adding up it looks like we're going to add a gimmick and it's going to be a ladder match. We can't do that. So it's, it's a steel cage match. The first one. So that's what we're going to do. And it's time for the segments now, boys. So let's just put the, the regular stuff. We usually put, as always, the main event package up in first. And we do have a feud, right? Yeah, we have some feuds that we can do. So just do a feud package for one of those. I'm going to do, I guess, Lita versus Roddy Piper. Up it up. Up it up a notch. There we go. The, just like that. And the next one we're going to do. Uh, what I do want to do, I guess, is uh, debut package. So where is it at? Debut package. There we go. Go into singles. And we're going to do a debut package for Sheamus. Just like that. Right before his match. And we're ready to go, boys. Ready to go into it. Let's hop on in. Heat Wave, our biggest pay-per-view of the year. Let's see if we're going to have a great one. I'm hoping to, uh, for it to happen. So the fans want Rob Van Dam to retain once again. So the fans love Rob Van Dam. Holy shit. Uh, CM Punk to win the title. And Jazz to retain the title. Very interesting. So let's see what we got. Debut package for Sheamus. Uh, very, starting very well for him. He's obviously going to win versus, uh, uh, against Mickey James. Uh, do, can we do a special finish? Not really. Since it's a special match, we're just going to give him the straight up win. Pretty good match overall. Four and a, almost a five star match to start it off. Look at the hype for the pay per view. Look at uh, nothing to say about that one. We could, uh, I think last time we had two million uh, attendance for the last Eat Wave pay per view. We could have even more there. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, so that's a really good start. Terrifon versus Tejiri. I'm going to give the win to Terry Funk, boys. Give him the win. Ends up pretty, uh, being a pretty low match right here. Not a really good one. Injury Revenge. Uh, we're blowing out that feud already. Beth Phoenix versus Gail Kim. We are going to give the win to uh, Beth Phoenix. And we're going to do... Well, we can't do a special finish. So let's just give the win straight up to Beth Phoenix. Blow off finish. Five star. So really good uh, ending to the, the feud itself as well. So that's good. Uh, Beth Phoenix gets the win. Uh, women's championship match. They want J The fans want Jazz to retain, uh, which is fine by me. So uh, what do we do here? Do we do throw in the towel? We can do that. We can do throw in the towel. Jazz wins via that. The finish was already held for that feud, I guess. So we can't do that anymore. But uh, still pretty good match overall. Four and a half star. And retains the blood and uh, retains the title. And I guess Medusa 
gets bloody as hell in that one. All right, so next up, 20 hype, plus 20 hype. Pretty do a good amount of hype right here. Who's the least over right now? Well, the least popular is Matt Hardy. So I'm gonna give the win to Matt Hardy. Boom, he gets the win. And uh, that's a uh, good enough for four and a half star match, boys. So decent match overall. Nothing to say about that one as well. And uh, we got feud package for Roddy Piper versus Lita. 90% effectiveness. All or nothing, big time match. 10 way still sell match. Five, uh, five bonus effects, uh, 20, plus 25 match effect, plus 24 streak bonus effect as well. So you got to remember, uh, Lita is undefeated right now. And I believe someone else is undefeated in there. Uh, Mr. Perfect and uh, Lita are undefeated at Eat Wave. So that's uh, going to be a very interesting one, boys. Let's see where uh, we are. So... They wanted, I believe they wanted a new champion for that one, right? They wanted CM Punk to win the title, I believe. If I remember properly, I think they wanted uh, CM Punk to be the champ, boys. So I guess he's going to get the, the world championship. He's going to be the new champ. So CM Punk, after only one month as a champion, Roddy Piper is going to drop the title to CM Punk. Just like that, boom. And uh, that's a big one. That's a big match right there. Really good one. Six star, six and a half star match. There's some blood into it as well. Uh, Brock Lesnar blood a little bit. But Sam Punk is now the world champ, boys. So congrats to him. We've got Sam Punk ended Lita. Or a three match undefeated streak is uh, now over. And he started a winning streak himself. So everything's going very well. Uh, we've got also somebody's gimmick went up. It's Triple H. Good. All right, so next up, another multi-man match. Whoever's going to win right here, whoever's the least popular, seems like Jeff Hardy right now. Oh, Keiji Muto is the least popular. Who else? Just Incredible, the least popular. So Just Incredible is going to get the win once again. He's getting a huge boost, boys, because he keeps getting a lot of win recently. So there's a huge win for him. Everybody goes up, though, uh, for morale and everything, for overness as well. So... Congrats to everybody, I guess, for a great match. Just incredible, just keeps getting lucky, I guess. Get, get, keeps getting these uh, wins uh, via these uh, lucky numbers. So there it is. There's a win for him. Time for the main event now. Main event package, 90% again. And uh, the fans clearly wanted Rob Van Dam to retain right here. So uh, we're just going to give him the win once again. So once again, Rob Van Dam retains against Chris Benoit. Uh, worked with the crowd, which is fantastic. The crowd loved the match, which ends up being a five and a half star match. So really good, boys. Really good end to the uh, the uh, pay per view itself. And the feud's still ongoing for between these two, and it's still ongoing. They, they are having such good matches that a feud is not becoming stale at all. It, you can keep it going forever. So really good. And overall, that's good enough for a pay-per-view of five stars. So that's good. Five star pay-per-view for our biggest one of the year. I like to see that. And uh, where does that put us for the attendancy? Oh, a little bit less than last time. Last time was tw uh, two million, I believe. Well, this time still pretty good. Uh, over one million fans showing up for the biggest pay-per-view of the year. And uh, Bash at the Beach, boys. We actually have a new, f uh, new competitor as well. So brand new company just popped up as well. Uh, Fight Wrestling, I guess. That's their name. That's just a regular name. So they're popping up as well. But uh, I'm waiting for WCW to uh, to say bye, uh, basically, to be bought off. So Fight Wrestling uh, just popped up. Warrior uh, over with the fans. That's what uh, I guess our company man wants, but not going to happen. Because Warrior, Ultimate Warrior is already out of there, I guess. And we've got a work rate. Next X-Pac went up in work rate, which is good. Uh, reassure failure again from Medusa. We can't reassure. We just can't find a way to reassure her for some reason, boys. I don't know what to do here. Just don't know what to, uh, to do in order to reassure her properly. It's just kind of frustrating a little bit. And uh, she's still, like, always unhappy. If anybody came to her uh recently and offered her a contract i would be forced obliged to let her go and i don't want that to happen so i, I need to reassure and quick the worst wrestler of our company it seems like to be triple h it seems like so 
he's going to be the one that we are going to be uh, working on right now. So we're going to be working on Triple H for the work rate. Where is he at? He's right there. Yeah, let's uh, let's work on his uh, work rate really quick, boys. And uh, all right, so let's keep it going. Wrestle Palooza, a lot of minus effect matches. So unsanctioned submission and tables match are both going down. So we got to worry about all three of these stipulations. All right, so let's start the booking of our last pay-per-view for the day. Uh, first match, of course, is going to be the main event, which is the heavyweight title. It's going to be a singles match. Rob Van Dam versus uh, Chris Benoit once again. And we are not going to blow it off because it's super popular. So we can keep it going as long as we want. Uh, last time was a steel cage. It's telling us to not go for unsection, submission, or table. So none of these. So we're just going to go straight up to street fight match between these two. Next up, the world title. Uh, Sim Punk defending his title in a multi-man match. So uh, once again, no feud for it. So we're just going to uh, do multi-man match right here so we're gonna add the feud between these two anybody else that's a hundred percent there we go trish had already a feud no nope, she didn't have a feud going on so that's good let's keep it going boys kurt angle added to it and uh we are gonna get el generico goldberg added a uh, kurt inning into it uh jake roberts we need two more wrestlers right here so let's try and find two more wrestlers medusa medusa she already has yeah, a, a feud going on with Jazz, so she can't do that. Edge, there we go. And we've got, as well, one last person, boys. Beth Phoenix, why not? In there, so boom. There's another one right here, just like that. We're going to add uh, a gimmick to it. So it was a street fight, so elimination match. And uh, the next one is, is it going to be a, a, a multi-man? It's a multi-man as well. So Mickey James get in there. Any other girl that's available for us? Gail Kim, yep. And that's about it. That's all the girls that are available. So uh, Jazz is going to defend uh, our title, our woman's title, I guess. Uh, she's only going to defend the woman's title. The World Television Championship, she's going to keep it, but only going to defend her world, uh, the woman's title for now. So she uh, keep in mind, Jazz is the top, double champion right now. So we got that. Uh, we are going to add, uh, add a gimmick to that match. So it's going to be an explosive uh, barbed wire match. It's all going to be decided by the AI. So the AI is going to decide once again, bizarro matches. Let's see what the AI decides to do. So they want to put that right here. We're going to remove the feuds really quick. So that's the matches they decide to put on. Remove the feud. I don't want any feuds going on. X-Pac and Kijimuto keep, go, like, keep facing each other. It's incredible. They're just never going to not face each other, I guess. Uh, this one was added, so we're just going to add a gimmick to it. And I guess it's going to be a casket match. All right, so that's it, boys. Segments now. Let's go for the segments. Last but not least, main event package once again. Let's put it right before the main event. Oh, what did I do? Oh, my God. Hold on. What the hell did I do? Okay. Pressed the wrong thing by accident, boys. I thought I quit the whole thing by accident. I was about to say that was a bit, uh, that would have been pretty bad. All right, so we're about to start the last pay-per-view of the video, Wrestlepalooza. Pretty nice look to the whole thing once again. And uh, we are starting by saying that Rob Van Dam is going to retain. Now, remember, Rob Van Dam, it's an entire, it's officially a year since he's been champ. So he's been champion for a year, and the fans still want him to retain his title. He basically has the same title reign as CM Punk had with the title, uh, WWE title. So, uh, Robin Dem is having the time of his life. He's having a huge title reign. It's crazy. And they want, fans still want him to retain. They want Trish Stratus to win the title, however, uh, however, to be the new world champ. And they want Mickey James to be the new uh, women's champ. So, that's quite interesting. So, Shim is getting a backstage interview. Not too good, 60% effectiveness. I guess he's not good at uh, on the mic. Is he? But he's supposed to have some charisma, so he's supposed to be decent. I don't know why he wasn't good that time around in the, in the interview, but I guess it's fine. So he's going to get the win, obviously, because he's getting the push. So Sheamus gets the win. It's actually a really good match. So that's good. Five, uh, five and a half star match, almost a six star. So uh, really good for Sheamus. That's really going to help him out. 
Scott Hall versus uh, Triple H. I guess the least popular is uh, Scott Hall, so we're just gonna give uh, Hall the win. It's almost a four-star match. I think uh, Hall is one, another one of those that is having bad matches here. I am not a fan of him right now, but he's not a dull worker, so we can keep him in and try to work him like uh, on a separate uh, place, right? Keep him under control. Uh, by giving him multi-man matches or something. I think that's the way to go. Because uh, on singles match, he's not good. Uh, Triple H, uh, not Triple H, but Goldberg versus Stone Cold. The least popular of these two is Goldberg. So let's give the win to Goldberg, boys. Pretty good match for Goldberg. Four and a half star. So Goldberg, even though he's a dull worker, supposedly, is he's not acting like he's not wrestling like Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior were. These two guys were dull workers as well, but it was showing up. They were having bad matches. Uh, unlike Goldberg, who is a dull worker as well, but for some reason, he's having decent matches. Don't know if it's because he's facing against good wrestlers, but uh, it has some, something is happening, that's for sure. He's, uh, he's doing good. So the least popular of these two is obviously Terry Funk. So he's going to uh, beat up Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar cannot catch a break. He's far from being the beast among men that everybody is talking about in real life. He's far from being that. That's for sure in my universe. He's, he keeps getting beat up. He's got seven losses in a row here. More losses than uh, wins. And he's losing to Terry Funk. So that's just how business goes, I guess. Chris Benoit, but Sting versus Eddie. Uh, we are going to give the win to Eddie because he's the least popular. So there we go. Eddie gets the win. And uh, gets a bit of a bonus from that. Four and a half star match. We're having some good matches here. Uh, Ric Flair versus Matt Hardy. We are going to get the win to Matt Hardy because he's the least popular, of course. Five, four and a half star match. So uh, most of the matches are all the same right now, aside from the first one, which was really good. So I'm looking to have a, a, like a breakout match right here. I'm still looking for it, uh, waiting for it, boys. So they wanted Mickey James to be the new champ, I believe. I'm pretty sure, or they wanted Trish Stratus to be the new champ, I believe, yeah. No, so I think they wanted Jazz to retain. Yeah, the fans wanted Jazz to retain, I'm pretty sure. So Jazz is going to retain the title once again. Uh, let's uh, keep the keep the title, Jazz. There we go. Five-star match. Blow-off finish. Really good. Now, I hope, uh, let's, let's take a look at Medusa. Morale change plus, plus the good. So our morale went up. Good. That's good to know. And, um... Medu uh, Jazz keeps the title. She's going to be champ for five months now. So pretty huge boost. Uh, boost. Remember that Jazz is now uh, is still undefeated. She hasn't been defeated at all. So ever since she came by. So uh, that's really good for her. Ricky Steamboat for, uh, versus Jeff Hardy. The least popular of these two is Jeff Hardy. So Jeff is going to get the win. Pretty good match. Decent match overall. Four and a half star. Uh, let's hop on into the next one. Promo battle. For this feud, for the world title, pretty good overall, ups the feud up. And uh, now it's time for the world title match itself, huge one. Uh, fans wanted Trish Stratus to win the title. So first they want CM Punk to win, but then they want Trish to win it. So I guess Trish is going to become champ uh, once again. There we go. She uh, once more is a champ, and this time it's a world champ that she is. And uh, that's good for a five and a half star match. Really good, boys. And look at all of this. Everybody going up. I love to see that green, man. All the green going up across the board. And there's orange. It's it's just great to see, man. I, I love to see that. I love everybody. Uh, I, I like to see everybody, every one of my wrestlers going up in a match. That's great. X-Pac versus Keiji Muro. Keiji Muro getting the win over him. A pretty bad match overall. I guess they, they couldn't figure out... Uh, a good way of getting it uh, working. I think these guys are facing up against each other way too much. But uh, I mean, it's the AI. It's the AI that decides what to do with the uh, the extra wrestlers. So I can't really choose too much. 100% uh, effectiveness for the main event package. And uh, Rob Van Dam versus Chris Benoit. They wanted Rob Van Dam to retain. So we'll give them that. Respectful end. So Rob Van Dam... We can do that, I believe. But the thing is, if we do that, Robin then needs to lose for the respectful hand, which is not going to happen. So we can't do that. We're just going to have to uh, to do the normal finish like always. Robin then retains. 
once again and uh, is now the champ for 12 months boys an entire year as champ officially so uh that's pretty good right there for the fair per preview itself just below five stars anything uh went up jeff rd becoming a face of the company and uh that's pretty much it we don't have anything else other than that so uh, attendance wise still have the best attendance of course over 600k uh wcw did pretty well on that one they only lost 3k fans and they got 8k fans uh, to show up so or 80k so interesting the other ones not doing too good actually the two uh, these two are doing pretty good uh fighting wrestling not doing too good though uh, so wrestling world everything's going well so we're we're doing pretty well boys i i have nothing else to say oh we lost a lot of fans right there in a recent interview paul Eamon took a controversial political position of course and now we lost like uh 200 and uh 250k fans just from that that is not good we just got like um we just got five millions so that's not good medusa we just can't do it we just can't uh, uh reassure her for the life of me it's unbelievable bad day for edge rico uh he's on the low right now i guess new talent uh, available that's about it so i'm gonna leave it for right now boys i'm gonna see you guys for the next video remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy it keep it easy